let's say we're having a basketball which is this one and you're having a basketball hoop which most of you guys are familiar with and you decide to throw this ball inside the hoop right so what's going to happen is this ball will enter inside if you are accurate enough and it's going to drop here right so the ball is going to drop so as it goes down it's going to go down to the floor and let's say the height between um the floor and this point of the ball is two meters and then the ball bounces so let's say the ball bounces and then it gets to this height and we say maybe the height between this point and the floor is one meter and then the ball bounces again so it goes down and then it bounces and let's say now it's going to reach a height of one over two meter which is 0 0.5 so let's say this is the case so when this happens in such scenario and you want to write it in a sequence format obviously we'll have to start where the ball started like this initial height of the ball going that direction so what's going to happen is in if you write it in sequence format it's going to be two meters one meter and a half meter so if you decide to take the heights from our right hand side to our left hand side so now if you're having different heights like this of this ball here and you want to identify the differences in ratio so you want to identify the ratio format of these so you're going to say the t1 which is this one t1 and this one's going to be t2 and this one's going to be t3 so t1 which is equals two meters and t2 which is equals to one meter so t2 divide by t1 is equals to so t2 which is one meter divided by t1 which is two it gives us a half right so basically it tells us that the difference in heights from t1 to t2 is a half right and if you do the same thing with t3 which is how many meters it's half meters right and then t2 which is one meter and we say t3 divided by t2 is going to give us so t3 it's one over two divide by one it's going to give us a half meter so it means that the difference in ratio is a half so if you're having a sequence where the difference in ratio is a half or should i say the ratio is a half then that sequence is called a geometric sequence so this sequence has a constant ratio the ratio is constant throughout thank you so much for watching if you have any questions suggestions or comments please write them in the comment section below don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos